what's up guys good morning good morning good morning from africa it's around 8 a.m here in the village and the sun is shining bright as always so my name is nasto guys uh, welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your very first time kindly consider subscribing to my youtube channel uh, to the returning subscribers thank you very much for always coming back to watch my videos in today's video guys i'm coming live from nyabuhansi from the village yes we were in Shirati, we went there, it was really amazing, the experience was top-notch. Uh, we ate one of the most organic foods, uh, fresh fish from the lake, you know. Uh, there if you want fresh fish, you just have to walk straight uh, towards the lake and you will meet a lot of people coming from the lake uh, with fish just hanging and they are sailing at good prizes good prizes so we went there it was really fun we went with Mayugno, Maja Ke, Sejo and uh, me also so we had a great adventure swimming <laughs> if you want to see how we were swimming kindly go check that out in Mayugno's channel guys so we're back in the village back to business as always back to uh, watching our projects here in the village yeah we have small projects here we have some kale business uh, kale farm we have some chicken business, chicken farm. So, you know, when uh, we landed yesterday evening, it was very late uh, and it was really raining. So I could not come here to, to do a video of the progress of our chicken. But now I've just woken up from my home and here I'm at Maja's place. And uh, I really want to go and show you guys the progress of our chicken. I believe they're really doing good because yeah, we left someone uh, in charge we left someone in charge because my just home they have a house manager or a, a housekeeper I can say that one day one of these uh, days we will go and visit her also in her home we'll give her a surprise visit so for now guys I believe she took good care of uh, our chicken we gave her something small to also motivate her you know and uh, keep her uh, in check so guys uh, let's go and check out on our project of of the chicken so i'm really excited i'm so much excited because uh even when i was far I, I was always calling and asking how our chicken doing because we had to buy a 50 kg bag from one of uh, our supporters who really supported us with uh, <coughs> the feed we, we went and bought <coughs> when i was in uh, shirati i sent the money to uh, one of the stores here, one of the poultry, they sell poultry feed, uh, cow feed, fertilizer, uh, medicine and all those uh, agricultural uh, stuff. So we send the money and I believe they, they sent it here. So we, we bought a 50 kg, the growers mash, because I'm told we have chicken mash, uh, growers mash, uh, layers mash. So we bought the growers mash mash since our chicken are uh, around four weeks old so we were supported and bought 50 kg bag thank you very much thank you for supporting us so let's go and check on our chicken uh chicken business so i already have the key here so we had to buy a padlock we had to buy a padlock because of security because we want this place isolated and i don't want to mix the chicken with this uh with these ones because these ones they have they are prone to diseases they are very much prone to diseases so the house is inside here so this is the old house but even ours as it grows <coughs> as the chicken grow bigger we will now uh, modify it to have places where chicken now can lay eggs and uh, they can sleep so let's go guys so yesterday it really rained so much so much and uh, this paper bag here or rather this polythene bag was very helpful <coughs> because it uh, it uh, it really prevented a lot of water from getting inside so if maybe you're into chicken business kindly i will advise you uh, to put such a polythene bag around because they need ventilation but also they do not need too much cold so this paper bag before we left we made sure that uh, we had bought this one to place it here so that uh, we can also get fresh air fresh air inside and and it can also prevent the too much wind from from blowing inside so let's go and check so this is our small padlock 
So let's open it up. Wow, so guys. Ah, welcome, welcome to our chicken house. <laughs> welcome. So unfortunately there's no electricity. You can see. There's no electricity. There's no electricity. So and I'm happy because I'm seeing we have a Jiko inside here. So she really takes good care of our chicken. She has to ensure that uh, they get enough warmth because uh, such young chicken, they really need a uh, good warmth. For me, I'm really, I'm happy. I'm happy because, <laughs> just look at them. Just look, wow. I'm really happy, guys. I'm really happy they're growing. And this all is thanks to everyone that believed in Nasto, believed in Maja and said, Nasto, we want to support you also to uh, finish up the, the chicken house, uh, uh, buy feeds, because trust me, this will not have been, uh, been easy without the support of uh, you guys. And thank you very much for always supporting us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because... Uh, I would not even have imagined that I would build such a house because we had to buy new iron sheets, we had to buy uh, new these wire mesh, we had to buy the polythene bags, we had to buy the feeds, we had to buy the feeders. So I'm really grateful for everyone that has been supporting me. So, and a good thing is that I'm seeing she also has put in here some uh, clean water, clean water, so that she can change as much as she can. Let me close here so that the cold doesn't get in. So that the cold doesn't get in so hi me i'm really so this is the 50 kg bag that we bought so this is the 50 kg bag uh of of uh grower grower smash that we bought it's a 50 kg bag full and it's almost halfway because this chicken they, i think they really eat too much well, we have now to moderate them because this one is almost over because i think 50 kg is somewhere here and just three days they have eaten up here see very big well, and this bag costs around uh, around 40 dollars here in the village yeah 40 40 dollars which is very very expensive i think now we also as they grow now we can uh, try to mix now with the uh, local food like uh, smashed maize, uh, kales, so that we don't spend too much on feeding them because I think they really eat too much. Because this bag, we just bought it some four or five days ago. Four or five days ago. So we now have to moderate or rather to mix now with the local feeds from the farms. Uh, I was. Uh, Introducing them to this one because uh, they had come from a place where they were being given uh, This gross mash maybe every day every day every day So I have to now slowly slowly introduce them now to local feed uh, Like the grass the kales and everything but so far so good guys me. I'm really happy because I can see them feeding you See they're really enjoying yeah. So inside here we have 50 50 birds 50 birds 50 birds which are really doing good yeah we have around 50 birds yes so right here we have around 50 birds <sighs> this door keeps on opening and let me put the stone here So let's go inside and check. So I have to leave my shoe here. So the water, so the water before we left, we had to put some uh, nail here so that she can easily uh, go and uh, maybe change uh, the water. So you just have to lift like this, and then you go now with this uh, with this container and refill it. So we put for her some nails so that uh, she can have an easy time while uh, changing the water. The water, but for the feed, it's just down here. Yes, so like this also another one for easy movement. For easy movement, yes. So this is the feed. So some are getting on top. 
But so far so good. Uh, I think they are really doing good. All of them are really healthy and playful, which is a good sign. Let's let me get to carry one. Wow, it's really heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Yes, heavy. Yes. Just see them. I don't want to stress them. <laughs> yes. So these are my babies, our new family. And they're really growing fast, like this one. It's very huge, this one. Very huge, very huge. So uh, for the female, uh, differentiating them, uh, the, the male have, let me show you. The male usually have this, this thing up here. I don't know what it's called in English, this one, that one. So the males and uh, they are also bigger in body, bigger in body. But for the female, let me catch one female and I show you. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I don't want to stress them. So for the female, mostly they have smaller bodies, like this one. You see, like this one, it's a female. It has smaller body. So let me let me just go out so that I don't stress them. So far so good guys, me I really think uh, this is a very good project, so if maybe you are a, a youth out there, try your best and uh, come up with such a good project. So these are the local feed, local chicken, the local chicken. Yes. Uh, the good thing about uh, those ones inside there, uh, me I love uh, putting them inside because it it reduces the number of uh, deaths very much. Because this uh, the ones you just leave them free range, sometimes they get they get to other people's uh, farms, they beat them, uh, or they get caught. Uh, with the, the thieves outside here in the forest so every day you keep losing one 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 so that's why i prefer maybe i should lock them inside there even if it will be maybe expensive but i will uh, i will have to grow the whole number the whole number maybe you can tell me on the comment section guys what do you think about uh, leaving them free range or rather uh, enclosing them inside there yes it's, it's expensive with the feeds but now we will try uh changing into local feeds buying because uh, in a village also in the next city town sirare town we have uh, where you take your maize to be to remove the outer cover so they can sell you the outer cover so they can sell you those outer covers in a, in a, in a, a pail maybe a pail goes for around uh, four dollars four dollars so if i buy maybe half a sack and then i come and mix with this feed it will be very very good and very healthy so yeah so that's it so anyway guys me really i'm really grateful for everyone that has been supporting us everyone that has been uh, uh wanting to see us grow and uh, i'm really gra glad that we have come this far from uh, beginning of the farm from the beginning of the house from uh, just from scratch from nowhere and at least right now we are somewhere which i believe is a very good uh, progress so next i'll be taking you to the kale farm to the kale farm to see also how our progress or how the progress of the kale farm is doing which i believe is doing good because of the rain so before we left also we made sure that we had uh, planted we had done the first weeding we had done the fencing and I believe right now everything, everything now is doing good. Yes, so see you at the farm. Uh, so guys, it's now time for me to go to the uh, kale farm. And it really looks amazing. So nice, so nice. So, so this is the gate we created. And uh, 
this is how our farm looks like so it has been long since we left the village and uh, around five days and uh, I can see there's a very big uh, very big change so yesterday there was too much rain too much rain which is very good also for the kales because you can see they're really growing so big so big and so fast so I believe maybe by next week we'll now start harvesting or in two weeks time let me give them maybe two weeks time we'll now begin harvesting because here at the edge there's a very very big difference you see the leaves here this one can be cooked even today even today this one can and they're very very soft also yeah so i had to make sure that uh, before leaving the village uh, we do everything precise and leave the farm as good as it is so it looks clean i came with a gem i thought maybe i will come back and find some weed but i think uh, the farm looks good so and here we have a visitor he has traveled uh, from uh, mombasa he sent me an sms uh, last year actually last year yes so maybe he can give himself a shout out Boa. Yes. So what's up guys, uh, this is Samuel Travel and History and uh, I came to visit uh, Nasto here and uh, to show me around his village and also to get to know on how he does his uh, things about YouTube and uh, things like that. So guys go check me out at Sam Traveler or Samuel Travel and History and uh, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, we become one big family so we are yes. here in the in the farm in the farm with uh we have come to check on these uh, kills yesterday was raining so much but uh i think the kills are doing good yes, yes. this is a big project it's a nice project he, this is his project and uh together with maja ke it's something good uh, to uplift their livelihood you know yeah so guys make sure you uh, have something going on in your life so that uh you can live a beneficial life so stick around yeah, what do you think about our farm man i'm so impressed man. Yes. i'm so impressed on how you're doing your thing how you are trying to elevate the livelihood of yourself and also to have something going on on in your life you know farming is also a source of income yes also something that you have also to work on so that in the future it can bring in some something into your pocket right. this is an amazing project right. so, uh, your channel uh, mm -hmm. what does it deal with maybe my channel deals with uh, travel vlogs yes. or travel documentaries uh -huh. and also i also add things concerning to history so because history has been a big part of me that's why i also do some uh, travel and history vlogs yes right. so kindly guys uh, go check him out subscribe to his channel uh get him to 1000 subscribers kindly yeah he's come a long way long way you know i looked at the history of uh maybe when we started talking i saw it was last year i think last year november a very long time so yeah and guys should know that i know how to farm <laughs> you know how to farm yeah they may think i'm from the city <laughs> yes but i grew in the village uh in the village yeah, yeah that's can... how we we weed our yeah, this kids is how we weed. yes so before we left we made sure that uh, we had done all the weeding yeah so that uh, when we come back maybe we don't find a lot of, uh, a lot of weed, weed yeah farm. a lot of weed in the farm yeah guys eh? yes. you so may that's think... how we, we weed our farm yeah you may think we come from the city <laughs> yes but this is where we started our livelihood yes so guys so this is how we do our farming yeah so this is how, how we, we do. do yeah so sometimes you know let me tell you one thing yes, yes you know before i went to the city yes I used also to get uh, some, uh, I used to work sometimes in the farm, people's farm, so that I can get something in my pocket, you uh, know? Yeah, which city are you in currently? Right now I'm going back to Nairobi after here. Yes. And then I might also decide to go to the village a little bit. Mombasa? No, not Mombasa. Yeah. Maybe Naivasha. Uh, you used to be in Mombasa? Yeah, I used to be in Mombasa, but right now yes. I'll go back to the village. Why? Have you left your job in Mombasa? Yeah, yeah, I decided. Because uh, he used to be in Mombasa, working in Mombasa. Yeah, so I, I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> why he... I decided to move from Mombasa yes. 
yeah you know sometimes you may be working a job that maybe is not uh, making you happy or maybe fulfilling the desires of your heart yes yeah so you need it so now you are there a full-time youtuber yeah, yeah there is more to life than uh, being a nine to five you know yes for yeah sure. so now you are a full-time yeah now creator. i decided to take a risk and a leap of faith wow yeah to be a full-time youtuber oh i wish you well in your journeys you know for me it took me a very very long time to actually decide to become a youtuber even if even for now but i think anyway so i also had a job at easy coach where i was booking for people bus uh buses to nairobi from nairobi sending parcels so i decided to take some time off to focus on youtube and i've seen a lot of progress because right now i have chicken there right now we have a farm here and also we have traveled we went to uganda we went to tanzania with my yugno which was very good which i would have not done if maybe i would have decided to just uh, stick to the job but I really, uh, I really appreciate the job because it t taught me so much. You know, in life you, ha you also have to know the interpersonal skills, yeah. how to interact with uh, different people. So it was a very good experience for me at my workplace because it taught me so much. You know, some people come, maybe they want to book a bus and they are so angry at you and you're wondering, eh, hey, what have going I done? <laughs> what's what going have on? I done? Yeah, some, some, some person can come and he's just insulting you. But you know, at the workplace, it teaches you to be very patient, uh, yeah, very patient to, be very patient to understand people. different people. Yeah. Because di different people go through different problems and uh, they always want to look for a channel to, to maybe give out their stress. Yeah. yeah so. Uh, these jobs that uh, the youths uh, get, they really teach you so much. They teach you to be very patient in life yeah. and uh, know that pe different people go through different uh, different problems. So you have to really be understandable. So yeah, me, I really appreciate the job because it taught me so much, so much, so much. And also being a timekeeper, managing your time well. Yeah, so me, I'm grateful for the job. Uh, so if you find an opportunity maybe to be employed go for it go for it, go for uh, it. as save you it. yeah Let save the job teach you yeah because even through my job is when i got to buy my gopro because i had to save save for a long period of time the salary was receiving so that i could now purchase my first gopro which has now like open doors for me where i create uh, amazing content every day so me i'm really grateful for 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 life so for you also i really wish you well so guys kindly go check out yeah uh, check me some, out some 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 the traveler underscore traveler some traveler yeah but uh, guys if you want to search me real quick go search some samuel travel and history samuel travel and history yeah that is the name that is going to appear yes immediately i'm waiting for 12 days so that i can change the name to some underscore traveler so guys i'm sorry for that inconvenience but right, uh okay. I know it's going to appear on the front page when you search. Yes. So, and you can also comment in this video. Uh, yeah. Comment, maybe the, the, it can be easier for them to check you out. So, yeah. Yeah. So, guys, this is what uh, we go through every day as content creators, trying to also uh, change the narrative. You know, he, he, he. We used to talk even when I was under like 4K, 3K. Uh, used to text me very much so I looked at the history back on my Instagram and I saw we started chatting a long time ago a long 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 time ago so kindly guys go check out some travel and history you know there are those people that always believe in you even when you're under 2k 1k and they create that friendship and he had promised to visit our village and I'm glad he did he came all the way from Mombasa Nairobi and uh, right now and also he, he sent me a message uh, when I was in uh, Tanzania and uh, asked when when we were coming back and when I told him that today is the day we are coming back he postponed the journey uh, from traveling back to Nairobi and uh, decided to wait here in the here in the village so that I could come so guys kindly go support him Sam the traveler uh, I might I may pin I will pin uh, the, the the channel name on the description so kindly guys go support him so the village really looks good it has been raining so much so much 
uh, it has really been raining and the maize is doing good so this is a, a neighbor's home i'm taking you to ye iko sawa acha tu hivyo sasa nakuja a mi unaweza zunguka tu hivi acha tu hiyo jembe hapo hiyo jembe weka tu hapo irushe tu hapo yes so uh, sorry i was talking in swahili i was telling him just to leave the you come up utapita if yeah street so i was just telling him about leaving the jembe just behind there so so far so good me i really appreciate everyone that has been uh, supporting us on this youtube journey so this is how uh how how we plant uh bananas in the village so you have to dig a hole a very big hole like this and then put the banana stalks inside so that uh David nadhani ni shamba wamepanda mboga yes i think here they have planted some some uh, local food like uh you can see we have some kale here also and uh, these ones hapa kuna mboga hii shamba these are young ones yeah i think we also motivated uh this neighbor yeah, to plant some kale you see kale. yeah so he saw a project there and uh, she was motivated and to also start yeah uh, i think it, it's a she okay. she's our aunt she lives somewhere there oh. yeah so, so that's why i said if you have so much going on in your life yes. as a person people will tend to copy or get motivated yeah, they get on motivated what you're doing, what you, you're, yeah. you're doing. but if you sit down there you have nothing going on in your life people will be like are ah, you they'll term you as a reject yes yeah but if you have something going on man yeah. people will always admire you want to follow your footsteps yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah man. Me, I'm glad she also you see he, these are kales. Yeah these are kales. Yeah. So she has also gone maybe she gone started a nursery and, uh, and also she put some kales here. Yeah. Yes. So I'm really motivated also. See? So our fence ends there. So her farm is just this small one here. And she also which has some uh, banana stalks. Yeah, yeah. She's a very good farmer. This whole maze here are hers, but she has never planted kale. So I think we really uh, inspired, her. inspired her to also start some kale farming here, kale farm. which is very good, which is very yeah. good. So if you are a youth out there, yeah, you can learn, learn from your neighbors, from your fellow youth, and uh, try to uh, emulate what they are doing. Yeah, coping is not bad. If you're seeing they are doing good, maybe yeah. they have a channel, what they are doing, you can do just watch their videos do what they are doing and maybe I'll ask them how to do it even much better yes yeah. so so sam yeah and uh, let me tell t tell you guys this from my experience i've been working for nine uh, a job uh, eight to ten job and let me tell you guys since i left my job i have seen a big difference blue collar jobs are paying more than white collar jobs and if you have a skill yeah for sure please a skill i think is the best channel for you to generate wealth right now if you have a skill don't just sleep on that skill wake up uh, utilize that skill and uh, uh, eventually it's going to uh, benefit you more than the white collar jobs that people uh, continue rushing to get or competing to get get a skill and go out there and you will see how that skill is going to uh, improve your life so guys remember to subscribe to my youtube channel yes. like share and comment and also supporting me is supporting nasto yeah. and supporting nasto is supporting me because we are one community for sure. so peace out and goodbye for sure so, uh so guys uh and also this i'm not against uh, employment but uh in some companies in some companies i don't know if it's in the whole of africa or just in uh, maybe the place i am from uh, they don't want to see you like uh, having two to three jobs in a day for example if maybe you are employed and you want to open up your business so the employees i don't know if they get jealous or what so if maybe your business is doing good they tend to bring a lot of obstacles because maybe they, are, they start saying that you're, you're not keeping 
uh, your mind now you've sh shifted your mind into your business so much so they start bringing a lot of problems at your workplace I don't know but uh, the good thing about uh, 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 third world countries or improved countries maybe like the US they can allow you to work maybe for four jobs five jobs in a day which is very good but here in Africa some you know I was telling them about uh, I don't know if this you have ever experienced this. You know, mm -hmm. here in uh, maybe I could say in our country, mm -hmm. for example, if you are employed mm -hmm. and uh, you have maybe your side hustle, yes, your employee can even bring problems when you start maybe your side hustle business mm -hmm. because maybe they are seeing you are spending so much time time on that uh, uh, on your side, side hustle. hustle and also so they will start bringing problems at your workplace. Yeah, yeah. Even bringing trouble when you can be, even be fired. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever experienced yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Guys, that is a true story. Yes. I once experienced that. Yes. Uh, especially when I was working in Nairobi. I am not going to say the bank I was working with at that moment. Because I had started my own uh, importing business from China and I was spending a lot of time maybe uh, arranging work or uh, taking a lot of phone calls in yeah. the office or maybe outside the office and my so-called employer that moment was becoming angry at me oh why are you not fulfilling the whatever we have given you in the office mm. you know you are going to fire you blah 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 but well all is well man if you have your side hustles and your business or your employer or your employee is bringing uh, shenanigans in your place of work just be humble Maybe tell him or her, okay, if this is the one, uh, this uh, side house is the one that is bringing uh, problems. problems between me and you, yes. it's uh, between the job that you've given me and my side hustle, which yes. is going to be more beneficial. Yeah. So choose the one that is going to be of benefit. I'm not saying you quit your job <laughs> and focus on your side hustle, yes. you do you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure, yeah. So uh, maybe the employees should also give time to the youth so that they can also create more channels for income yeah. allow them to also grow outside maybe of your workplace yeah allow them to start businesses yeah to explore, yeah, to explore and yeah. expand so we are also here uh, visited by our brother what's up hello guys yes how are you man yes this is masubo yeah. good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you're watching this video from yes and what kind of time are you watching this I've just paid a visit at uh, this. Uh, I was just hearing multi-million project. Yes. <laughs> now today I've just now you are here. Yeah. Yes. How do you what do you think about this? But this is a really good project. Yes. That shall earn you a lot of money. Yes. And you know this project, it is shortly, it is monthly short. Yeah, yeah. Of, and of you, harvesting. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. And that may be you can either sell it all sometimes you can use it as at home yeah so i think the suggestion of this farm it is good so guys go check me there at i am masubo yes yeah. and you know uh we had a surprise are you still going on with your project yeah I'm still still mama mama muita. muita mama muita so masubo here has a project at mama muita i think this video now we have to continue to, to go and surprise Mama Muita because we have a very huge surprise to Masubo and uh, the project he's doing which is very good job so the continuation of this video I think now we have to end it there so Masubo yeah. are you welcoming me to your site yeah I'm just welcoming you yes just feel free yeah when you're going there at the project yeah so are you having other activities or we can go with you we can go okay yeah. so guys uh join me as we go also and uh because we received a call to go and support uh masubo but you know sometimes uh you can't just go to someone's project some people yeah some people have that uh, they'll start saying oh now you're entering into my project yeah. so that's why i really have to ask for permission that's why you see sometimes i take my space not to interrupt other people's projects because okay. some people may say ah now nasto you're now interrupting our projects why don't you start your own projects <laughs> yeah it's true yeah, you need yeah. To. That's it's, true. yeah especially you need to youtubers to have a lot of uh, issues outside because yeah. maybe they might say now you're taking advantage of my project why yeah. don't you start yours so that's why i really have to ask for permission from masubo yeah but for me yes if even you interact yes interrupt the, that project yes 
me what i want is that mama to be helped. yeah to, yeah, yeah for sure for is, sure that is what yeah. uh, us as youths we have to s- focus on focus on uh, that person getting the help yeah. even if it comes from someone Other who person. you're not maybe in good terms with but as long as this person wants to help that uh, person that you're doing the charity work let them come there do their charity be open minded for sure so yeah. let's go there we have a very big surprise yes yes so see you guys at uh, mama muita's house uh, so guys we came here to tanzania to buy a bed for our mother back in the village so they are just fixing the holes so they are putting nuts for us so that we can go and surprise mama muita so these are the bolts they are putting yes so so this is a bed we bought so very nice bed yes so 60 dollars was sent so that I can uh, support uh, Masubo because Masubo has a project here in, back in the village where she is building a toilet for one lady called Mama Muita. She's a widow. So one of you saw it twice to send me so that I can go and buy maybe a bed because they bought him a mattress and uh, she doesn't have a bed. So we have come to this place to get one of the one of the best uh, one of the best beds. So right now they are making the holes. So these are the holes they are putting in the bolts. So the bed has cost us around uh, four and a half dollar, which is four thousand five hundred. So we'll be paying. Uh, so when we changed the money, it was seven thousand five hundred for sixty dollars. So already here we have spent now four thousand five hundred. So they're just fixing the the bed so that now we can go home. I'm going to go in. 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 i they left me getting some stuff from the from the car that uh, Sergio the traveler had given us to go buy the bed because uh, I think it's cheaper going with the car because it accommodated a larger group and we also had to park so that we could buy some stuff so we bought a duvet and uh, this bed and I also stuff and I also got some some small shopping I was trying to balance the money so that I do not only buy a bed and I do not also buy some small shopping. So I don't know if I'll catch up with these guys. It's a distance. It's somehow a distance. But uh, they are there in front of me. So it really feels good to do uh, to do this and thank you to our mom for supporting us so here we go so this is how our village looks like it's a very big village very huge and this is just a small part of our village and uh, the whole village they plant maize Whew. this thing is so heavy You know, also we had to go to Tanzania because uh, right in Tanzania they sell uh, good quality beds compared to the other area. So I don't know. I think I was getting lost. Sand. 
The bed is so heavy. So this is a. Uh, I think it's because it's uh, somehow not totally dry. As I said earlier, I was sent $60, which is $7,500 for clarity purposes. The bed is $4,500. The duvet $1,500, which is uh, $6,000. 6, uh, boat shopping for around uh, $800. And the rest I'll be giving to Mama Mut. Wago! Mm. Oh. So I'm here with my friends. Hello guys, welcome to It's Nasto YouTube channel. My name is Sejo. Yes. My name is Sejo the Traveler, not Sajio. It's Sejo. <laughs> Sejo with the double S E J O. It's like Jose when yes. or Jose. Yes. When you return it, this uh, the uh, anticlockwise is Sejo. Yes. So guys, please check uh, It's Nasto to a journey of 20k subscriber. Me is a journey of 5,000 subscribers. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Yes. Yeah. All right. So here we have arrived at Mama Muita's place with the bed, and uh, we have our friend here. Yo, what's up, guys? This is Sam Traveler, and uh, I'm honored to be here today to present this uh, gift to the Mama Muita's home. It's a good gesture, guys, for young people like you supporting the less privileged here in the village. Yes. Yeah. Check me out, Samuel Travel and History. All right. And Maja, Maja, what's up? Yeah, what's up, people? My name is Maja underscore K E on all platforms. Guys, guys, you are doing amazing things here. Uh, you cease to amaze us. Thank you so much for the one who donated. Yeah, through you guys, someone will be sleeping today very comfortably. Yes. And um, I'm so happy for that. That is all you want here in the village. You want to be equal. Yeah, for sure. Know? So thank you so much. God bless you. Check me out at Maja underscore K E. Yeah, I'm also a content creator and I'm always here, guys, as you know. And uh, peace, love, and uh, always positive vibes, guys. So let's... Uh, yes, and uh, so this is Masubo, the one that has been uh, uh, doing this project. Mama, shikamo. <laughs> Tumokuletea hizi. Ii, nakitanda. Yes. Walikuwa mekunulia godoro? Eh. Walikuletea godoro? Eh. So this is Masubo. Masubo is here. Masubo. Yeah. Pip. Yes. yes. Hey guys. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hello guys again. It's a, it's a good day. This mama, as you can look off. Yes. She's just happy because she, every day when she wakes up, she see the great changes to her life. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So keep supporting us. Keep supporting whatever you're watching from. We love you and just remember, guys, love is free. So, yeah, for sure. Love is yeah. free. So this is uh, Mama Muita's house. Here is where she lives. So the last time we came here, uh, they had prepared some food. We came here and visited. So uh, this is the inside of Mama Muita. Yes. So Kitanda, we are already badaya kufungie. So I'm trying to say that uh, since Masu and it's almost raining also. So Masubo, now uh, we have left everything now for you. Now you'll come back later and uh, fit the bed. Yes, so thank you very much for supporting us. Kindly subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 20,000. Thank you for supporting, uh, for subscribing. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the money, Masubo, yeah. so I'm trying to tell him that we will do the mathematics of everything we have bought. So the balance, I will hand it over to Masubo so that she can now give to Mama Muit. <laughs> Jacob, 
Ay, ito na. Ay, san. So, say, you know, Masubo, they built for her this. Uh, they, yeah, last time you came here. Yeah. Yes. We met, we, we, this project was going on. Yeah. Did you reach that the, the water, Masubo? Yeah, there's water. Oh, okay. So, they built for her a borehole. Mm. Yes. And, this is a well. Uh, a well. Yeah. yeah. Not a borehole. No, the borehole is. The is... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they're also building a toilet. Yeah. Have you started constructing? I've just started the foundation. So they are also... Uh, so they are also doing this. It's a good deal. What do you think? I'm going to start the toilet. Oh. It's a toilet. Yes. Kubo. Yeah, it's <laughs> yes, so it's a good job you're doing. So, yes. So, Masubo, you are stepping this side and this side. Yeah. To huh? come up and to go down. Yeah. Try. No, you can't. Try, man. Imagine. You can't. No, this. <laughs> it's, it's very long. One gets here, I've got a corner. Where is it? 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 Yeah, that's that's awesome. a that one is a, I think it's a martial art <laughs> going yes. But it's a good job Yes, it's a good job Or you used a ladder No yeah. It's live 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 Hey, what's going on? Maraba Maraba So thank you very much Kindly subscribe to Masubo also And uh, see you guys in our next video Goodbye Yes